Radha with you from Crafters Corner and I hope you all are having great time and yes happy new year because this is my first video tutorial in this new year so today I'm coming up with something really really exciting and uh, I have uh, so many things to show you and uh, today I'm going to share the brand new product by Dress My Craft and can you guess what I'm going to show you well, <laughs> that's quite easy and you all might have seen in video covers but that is just a trailer and I'm going to like show you the complete picture. So Dress My Craft is coming up with a series of very high quality sequences and uh, uh, for not waiting you like not making you wait longer I'm going to show you what all sequences they have came up with. So one by one. I'll bring my lovely boxes here. So here I have arranged my jars and yay I have 8 jars with me. And uh, you are, are you like you all must be aware of Dress My Craft products like after the flower making paper, sparkling the sugar powder, they are coming up with these cuties and you would love the packaging because the first thing which I noticed about this product is the packaging. It is so beautifully done. You can see these boxes. They are so cute. I love the size and everything about it. Like you know, there is so much effort given on this packaging and it is very important actually because uh, the outer look is very important for making you to love the inner part so I love the packaging these uh, boxes are reusable so you can use it for keeping your craft supplies when your sequence, sequences get over and uh, right now I have 8 jars with me and there are 3 more uh, um, sequin boxes are there which I don't have right now but I'll show you these 8 and uh, you know um, it happens so many times that when you when we see things online we get confused with color and size so I'm not going to take it quickly and I will show each and every jar separately so that you can understand and see it that how beautifully they are created and there is like so much to choose from because uh, you know when we see things like uh, when we see the sequences uh, generally there are some you know common colors we used to get but these sequences are really pretty and they are uh, like having uh, different different color themes and uh, you can use it uh, accordingly to your project like so many uh, themes are there so many color themes are there and all are so adorable and so gorgeous so um, for uh, like uh, there are eight jars and all are having different different names so I have make a like I have categorized them on this paper so for making uh, easy for you and me both <laughs> so this is like first uh, is angel mix sequence so I'm going to show you angel mix sequence first and because I'm going to show you all the sequences separately so I'll show it on this paper only so first is angel mix sequences so here is the box and from outside only you can see this is so purpley sparkling
so you can find it in the blog section and there are three more uh, you know color themes are there so i will mention their names also so it will be easy for you to get it from crafters corner and these are available on crafter corner www.crafterscorner.in so now this is done so i am going to move on to the project tutorial and uh, let's get it started so um now i'm going to make some shaker embellishments and uh, uh, going to show you what all the basic things you need when you want to make a shaker embellishment or a shaker card so here I am going to use <coughs> this die this is a spellbinder die and uh, I am using I have made one embellishment using this die also and uh, this die also so the basic thing which you need to keep in mind is you need uh, some die having nested frames so that you can make uh, this kind of look this nested frame and this is for the base and uh, you need uh, <coughs> glue also so I'm using fast wrap tacky glue and glossy essence you need your pattern paper the choice of your pattern paper which you want to cut and there are two types of uh, shaker embellishments I'm making like there are two techniques first one is using the foam and second one I'll be doing using the double sided uh, tapes so for uh, making with the foam what I have done is I have uh, uh, cut the foam uh, using this die and I have made like four or five uh, frames like this and I have uh, pasted it together so this has like this becomes thick now and this will give depth to the embellishment in a uh, double sided tape also you this tape is like thick so when you will use two layers of this tape you don't need this kind of uh, thickness because again we will getting this thickness so the depth will come when you will use this double sided tape, tape also and this is actually quick to use uh, these tapes so I'll show you now how I have done it. Okay, and the most important thing which you need is um, transparent acrylic sheet. This is very important part of making a shaker embellishment or shaker cards. It comes like this. It comes in different different thickness so it depends upon you because you have to like sometimes we need to uh, use it with big shot also to cut in the shape so i have taken this this is quite sturdy and uh, not very thick also 